Mum and I have been looking for new places to ride lately, as riding Uomatic Dam every weekend gets old quick. Thankfully, there are various bike apps that show trails all over the world. If you live in America, any one of these will do you fine. But here in Australia, Trail Forks is ubiquitous. As Mum only rides easy scenic trails, I look for preferably green trails with blue at max. Most of the trails that come up I've ridden many times, but there's one at Pomona which I'm totally unfamiliar with. Noosa Trail Network. You could go by the trail difficulty or the reviews. However, when riding scenic trails, you gotta look at the pictures. Looks beautiful. However, I think I'd rather not have spit on my face. For any biologists out there, are these llamas or alpacas? And what's the difference? But you wanna get back here. No, no, we'll we want to, we, uh, we've got a car at Karoi. We oh. need to get to Karoi. Oh. That is, that is a long ride. <laughs> back to Karoi, yeah. But if you get back to Karan, at least you can get back there. Yeah, yeah. You might want to keep, do the road so you Keep the know. ocean on our left, we'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's when you see it. Okay, so I might have underestimated the distance just a bit. But that shows that even with good planning, local knowledge is always better. With a skewed sense of distance and direction in a place none of us have ever been, this ride was becoming the perfect recipe to get lost. Which coincidentally is the second part of this video. What to do when you get lost? If you have trail forks downloaded on your phone, you can find exactly where to go. No, this doesn't use data as it uses your phone's built-in GPS. Just centre your location and rotate left and right to see which direction you're facing. From there you should be able to figure out where to go. Um, so it's just flat. Oh, okay, so this... So this is, this is just right next to the road, literally. And then it kind of verges to another road just here. Simple enough. Now that you know how to find new trails and what to do when you get lost, I'll tell you my thoughts on Nisa Trail Network. For a quick disclaimer, we only touch the surface of what this trail system has to offer. You see, we did a 20 km section of the overall 40 km loop, so my review will only be of that section. First off, this first section was by far the best. Right off the bat, it had this amazing view. It also consists of this long grass on each side of the trail and lovely rolling hills. However, some sections were really steep. If you decide to ride here, I'd suggest riding it in the direction we rode it, from north to south, as climbing up these hills would suck. The next section wasn't nearly as scenic. However, there were some hills that were absolutely awesome to bomb down. The last section was pretty disappointing. Unlike the first section's beauty or the second section's fun, the third section had neither. I guess there was this fun little downhill section, but it was nothing compared to the previous section. So that's what I spent this week creating. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to do the stuff every other YouTuber tells you to do. Thanks guys.